Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, in order to tell you how to make people really care about your business, we have invited the person behind an iconic agency who was named one of Canada's top 10 of the year by Marketing Magazine. Welcome on stage, Scott Kate, founder and CEO of 123 West. Okay, well, I'm going to get right into it. Um, I'm going to start off by telling our quickly our crazy little story. Um, we started off and got a couple of really good partners, and uh, we all started off in a garage in Vancouver. And it was a pimped out garage, uh, and the whole point of us being low overhead and high talent it ended up being a really big story. We got a whole bunch of coverage in our national newspaper. And we actually have a website that's a pretty crazy, crazy website called 123w.ca. And we use talent from Fiverr.com to tell our story. Let me just play you one of the things here. So we had people from all over the world actually put our website together for us, and it only cost us 450 euros, uh, and which was incredible. Nine weeks after we started, we won our first Can Lion, uh, which may actually be a record. So uh, a very low-cost site telling our business model worked out quite well for us. We ended up winning a whole bunch of clients. Many of them are based here and in Canada. Now we're starting to do some stuff around the world. Um, but the problem is we were actually just a handful of people in a garage. We didn't even have a toilet. So we started to outgrow our garage. We looked for a different space. We found a linen factory, a working linen factory to keep our overhead low. It's kind of like the meth lab in Breaking Bad. And we basically, the best part is I actually did a contra deal. We don't pay for our space. So again, as we keep our overhead low and I invest into way better talent. We end up speaking at Cannes. Uh, the last two years went pretty good. Uh, won more awards, uh, top 10 agency in the country. Revenues are doing pretty good right now. And here we are, beautiful Sophia today. So I'm gonna to talk to you about how to make people notice and talk about your brand. So here's the truth. I'm gonna tell you the real truth right here is no one really, really cares about what we do. You know, you care about what you do. People in your company care about what you do. Your friends, your family might kinda of care about you, what you do. But the truth is, no one really, really cares what we do. And so if you're going to actually do something, you gotta do it great. And the problem is, it's been our whole industry from the marketing standpoint, is that about 33% of all marketing in the world is probably pretty terrible. Bad strategy, bad idea, bad execution. 65% is just unnoticeable. It's kind of like the stage here, it's just there. It's good, but it's just there. And about 2%, and I might be a little bit generous, is actually really good. And the source here is that I just actually made that up, but I'm probably banging on because I've been doing this for many, many years. Um, our job is actually to make people care. So what we're doing is we're fighting for attention, so when we get it, we better be relevant. The work that's really, really working for all the great brands is it's relevant, it's on strategy, it talks about your product or service, and then it's mixed with what is absolutely interesting, what makes people care, and that's the most successful stuff. If you're just gonna be relevant and talk about your brand and not be interesting, you're gonna spend millions of dollars and you still might not be that effective, particularly in today's landscape where people have choices not to watch your stuff. So how do you make people care? Well, you create news. Create news versus just marketing or advertising. In the old days, if you wanted people to come to your event, you better do something cool. When I was a kid, there was this guy named Evil Knievel and he jumped over you know, fountains and canyons and stuff like that, and it was always creating news. People like what they like, 
and every once in a while it just happens to be an ad. The first thing I ever did in my career a bunch of years ago that was really big was for Hockey Canada. That's our big sport in Canada. Uh, we had an issue. Some parents were getting out of control at the rink. They were fighting, screaming, yelling at referees. In fact, in the United States, one parent killed another parent after a hockey practice over an argument in front of their kids. I actually wanted to do something about it. I talked to Hockey Canada. We did this campaign called Relax is Just a Can uh, Game, and it ended up being huge, huge news in Canada. I'll show you one of the spots. Mom, are you going to let her get away with that? It's just a shopping cart. So it's your shopping cart. What's wrong with you? Are you a chicken? But Mom, you're such a wimp. What? What's wrong with you? Stand up for yourself. Go over there and give her a good smack. Fight, <gasps> fight, 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 fight. She's a goon. Give her a taste of her own medicine. So just again creating news, we got a huge amount of PR on that. For a company that we do work with now uh, called Noodlebox, you know, originally they served noodles, it was just in a white takeaway box, we brand the box, we make it interesting, we hide our even logo 123 West in there, uh, and then we do everything integrated, like even the chopsticks, is that, you know, for example, try our free run chicken, you can almost taste the freedom, have lots of fun with it. In the space itself, we work with architects, the, top, the lights there at the top, those are actually recycled walks, turned upside down, painted red, and that's actually their lighting. And then one of my favorite things in Vancouver is you actually have to have a coming soon sign when you're about to launch. So instead of just coming soon, we put plus size men's lingerie just to see how people would react. And after we did that and everyone Instagrammed it and put it on Twitter, we did Hats for Cats Boutique and then Live Bait and Coffee Cafe with Paninis too and uh, get a whole bunch of uh, uh, earned media on that. 7-Eleven is we had a brief from the client of we want to actually have Valentine's Day cups, so just some nice red cups. What we did is we actually made three different versions, whether you're single or taken or it's a complicated, you talk about your relationship status. So then it just blows all up in social, which is real fun, over a coffee cup. My partners did this before McDonald's, I love this, it's a trans shelter with beans in the promotion. The beans smelled so, so great, you couldn't help but when you walked by, you wanted to have that, and then it just went down and down and down until the promotion ended. Or a giant street light with this is a styrofoam carafe and a cup at the bottom. So something just visually spectacular. Vancouver Canucks is our big hockey team, professional hockey team, and in Canada, in, 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 in uh, North America, they play the organ at the games. So we created the fan bony. It's like a Zamboni, but it's the world's first drivable hockey organ. And then we had their people go out, and in the community, you can push a, push a button, a t-shirt start flying out, and so on. And it just again, creates news, it gets talked about, it's all over social, it gets PR. For the Vancouver Aquarium, we worked on an initiative where actually it was about the north, and the Arctic uh, 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 polar ice caps are melting, which is actually making the ocean go up. So we wanted to get news to talk about this, so we came up with so many ideas, and the simplest idea ended up being the right idea. What we had was a press conference in the water while the tide rose. And so we gave everybody waiters, and so that's the CEO. We had to make sure we didn't electrocute him. Uh, the reporters went out in waiters and asked questions. It's just very visually disruptive. And again, a whole bunch of media coverage. Uh, for a fishing club, what we're doing is it's a direct mail piece. So it's actually this really beautiful wooden piece with the salmon that's caught in the area, and then it's just you pull it out, and you get more information about it, and then just everything. Our staff put this together with real fishing line that they handcrafted and put together, and it's all about sending it to fishing stations and so on so we can get free media, and it's working. One of my favorite campaigns we've done, Diane's Lingerie. They specialize in fit. They do fit really, really well. So we came up with this campaign, and what we did is our female staff did this, is we had women paint their bodies in a studio, um, and they could pick their colors, and then it turned into this when they laid down, and then that created the communications. This category is usually very thin women, and everything looks the same. So it's everybody is different, we fit them all. And then we had a whole bunch of different versions of it, and they celebrate all shapes and sizes of women. I love me. And then they also specialize in women who have gone through a mastectomy. This woman was only in her 30s, and it's cancer won the battle, but I won the war. Everybody is different, we fit them all. 
Those are transit shelters. They're tags in the store. They're business cards. Everyone had a unique business card. And again, the shopping bag, that is a medium. Create news with that. And then we launched it with Art of a Woman. And so that was a big show at an art gallery. We auctioned off the prints, raised money for breast cancer, and then it had all our bloggers and so on. Business went up 30% overnight. And then my last one here, which I just absolutely love, is this is my partners did this a bunch of years ago for 3M. And this is a bulletproof security glass. They put two and a half million dollars in a press release. If you break it, you can take it. And it was lying down the block. People were kicking it and smashing it. Had to have a security guard. Um, no one broke it. Um, and just media coverage, just incredible, incredible media coverage. Very simple idea. So how do you do work like this? Well, great work, first of all, has to be on strategy. You need to think not like a marketer, but you need to think like a promoter. You know, you're really, and that's what I love about startups, you're always promoting. You gotta think like a promoter versus just a marketer all the time. And then what I love about this too is that just the math. So for example, in any kind of, you know, money uh, denomination, $100,000. Often after you pay people like the agency and then you produce it, $100,000 is almost $65,000 or less that goes out to the people to see your message. But when you do this properly, $100,000 or much less can turn into a million dollars. So you get a way better return on investment. And again, examples, $5,000, two and a half million dollars of coverage. I mean, um, $105,000, six million was the most effective campaign in Canada. We didn't even buy any media. And our, even our little uh, coming soon sign, $200, was $20,000 in coverage. I wish my stock portfolio actually had this return on investment. So great work, really, that creates news, absolutely rocks your ROI, your return on investment. Should always be looking at doing this. And here's the other thing is great work actually costs less to make than actually mediocre work. People will jump on and help you out, and even really, really talented people want to do better work, and they'll actually even reduce their rates. We have people do that all the time. So there's really just three key takeaways. Your job is to make people care. You want to create news, not just marketing plans or advertising. But the thing is, when you do these type of events, is you need, it is complex, and so you need to start really, really early and just plan it all out. Thank you very much.